What's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, we've been exploring and testing out some new video styles. So, you know, got some feedback from Instagram, from YouTube, from people that were commenting. So that's pretty cool. Um, just trying to, you know, put out there in a different perspective of what people see on the internet in terms of like we talked about in some of the earlier videos that we just posted the last couple about <clears throat> how the how the space is so interesting, right? And I think that I was having this conversation yesterday with a friend of mine, right? And people will make you feel bad about being on your journey and how, how much time it's actually going to take to do something worthwhile and be successful, right? It's supposed to be hard. Like when you're pursuing something great, it's not supposed to be easy. It's, it's going to be lonely. It's going to be tough. It's going to be the hardest thing that you ever do, even if you're just working inside of a company. And that's the biggest thing too, is like, People frown upon people frown upon you working inside of a company, you trying to build something, and then going on later in life to start something on your own, or whether if it's you're doing it right now and it's not something that people agree with, even if it's your own mom, your own dad, your own brother, your own sister, your own friend group, right? And I think it's very important to understand that you need to cut certain people out, right? Like, what do you do with cancer? You cut cancer out right? You cut it out of your life because ultimately it weighs you down, right? And those are, and that's kind of what is around us when it comes to certain people. You have to really audit and understand what is actually happening in your life and what are you doing today to make sure that the people that are surrounding you are the people that are going to be there for you in the long run and in five, 10 or 15 years from now, right? And that's the thing is today people will start something and they quit so quickly, right? Because, oh, I tried something for six months and I quit. I tried something for three months and I quit. I tried something for one year and I quit. Here's the thing. If you were, if a thousand people, or, or let's, for numbers purposes, let's start. If a hundred people today started, hey, I want to be the best basketball player in the world. If a hundred people today started, in three months from now, about 50% of those people will drop off. This is getting way too hard. In about six months, probably another 50%. In about a year, there's only going to be a couple people around you that are actually working on that thing that are actually trying to excel at becoming the best basketball player that they can possibly become. And the reason I use that as an example, because you can apply sports to business, you can apply sports to career, you can the metaphor for sports is really important. That's I think that's why we can all resonate with it, right? It's kind of like the underdog story. And providing let me provide you an example. Tom Brady, LeBron James, Kobe Bryant, Dwayne Wade, some of these basketball players were that were arguably some of the best basketball players to ever play the game and obviously first ballot Hall of Famers for sure. And these guys all had a coach. These guys all had a person that was helping them get better. Even Tom Brady had a had a throwing coach to throw the ball better in his prime of his career every single year all the way until he retired. So what I'm saying is that even the best athletes in the world needed a program, needed a structure, needed a way to actually understand how do I get that 0.1% better performance out of my career, out of my job, whatever the case may be. And depending on the scenario that you're in, you could probably use that point one, but that point one out of five years, 10 years, 15 years of time, that longevity of doing that is what separates you from everybody else, right? So figuring out a program that fits your life, right? And that's kind of what I've done from personal experience. And I used to go to this amazing uh, psychologist for years. She was supplied through when I worked at Nike. She was supplied through them in terms of somebody that was a referral. Her name was actually Dr. Brenda Odell. I went to her for about four-ish years, five years or so. And one of the things that she told me is that, hey, I wanna equip you with the tools so you no longer have to come here, right? I wanna equip you with the tools so that you can be successful in life. I wanna equip you with the tools so that you're not a person that's coming here for 15, 20, or 30 years straight, right? You're a person that's gonna come here for a couple years to get the tools in your tool shed so that you can go ahead and combat any problem regardless of where you are and regardless of if I'm here or not here, right? And that's what a coach does, that's what somebody, a mentor does, that's what these kind of people do that are helping some of the best athletes in the world, some of the best CEOs, some of the best executives, right? So I think that part is really important to understand in your life. And where I'm trying to go with this is, where are you getting your advice from? Who are the individuals that you're taking your advice from? Would you switch your own life with them? Would you 
go down the path that they went down? What could you learn from them? What mistakes did they make that you shouldn't make, right? These are all things that you have to understand that when it gets hard and when it gets tough, you can reference some of these other scenarios. And it's kind of refreshing to hear that other individuals are facing the same issues, the same problems, the same roadblocks, right? And it's supposed to be hard. That's something that I've been saying to myself every time I wake up in the morning. Like I got up this morning at 530 in the morning to get a workout in, right? It's supposed to be hard. It's not supposed to be easy. But if you start doing the hard things, then everything else in your day becomes easy. Your job, your career, your relationships, things of that nature. It's not guaranteed, but it makes it a little bit easier to deal with because you started developing the grit, the mental toughness, and those type of character traits that ultimately can propel you into becoming successful, right? And that's something in today's society that's lacking heavily, especially in a position where I hire and fire individuals, right? I can understand why it's so hard for other companies and other people that run companies and businesses. I work at a company, right? I'm a person that takes full ownership of my role and position within a company, but other individuals that run companies I can understand because I'm friends with some of those people, why it's so hard to actually hire employees, right? The entitlement mentality in today's world, people think that they deserve things. And I don't agree with that. I feel like you have to earn your opportunity. You have to earn your new car. You have to earn your house. You have to earn everything. You have to earn the relationship you want to be in. You have to earn friendships that you want to have. You want, you have to earn certain scenarios, certain things that you want in your life and how you want that to be set up. And a lot of people think that you deserve those things, right? Or they deserve those things when they haven't done anything to deserve them. So that's also an important aspect that you need to take away and understand that everything that you put in is what you're going to get out, right? So it's like, you can't expect, accept, expect to be healthy. You can't expect to have a lot of money. You can't expect to have a great career that pays well or great relationships. If what you're putting in isn't equal or greater amount to what you think that you're going to get in return, right? So usually you have to do more and you'll get less, but you do that for long periods of time and you over excel at everything that you're doing. You give 110%. Eventually you start reaping the fruits of your labor in 10 X and five X and 20 X because you decided to stick it out for the long term rather than in today's world where they're like, oh, I deserve this. So I'm gonna let this person go or I deserve this. So I'm gonna quit that because this person's giving me the next shiny, next big opportunity. And that's where we're coming into this disruptive environment where nobody's actually sticking around for the long haul. Nobody's actually sticking around and trying to make things work. Everyone is trying to just find the next shiny thing, quote unquote. So this is just a little bit of advice, take it for what you will. This is just a little bit of what I've experienced. These are things that I've gone through those growing pains, especially if you're a person, I'm 31 years old. So especially if you're a person that's trying to excel, trying to do the right thing, trying to pursue greater goals that are wor worthwhile, those, those things are going to be detrimental to your mental health for sure. They're going to be hard. It's going to be lonely, but along the way, you also are going to meet individuals that share the same values and the same principles and that those are the individuals that you'll end up becoming friends with right because you're going to have people when you start something oh that's not going to work oh that path that you're going down is stupid oh you want to be an astronaut oh you want to be a president oh that's dumb you're never going to be able to do that as a kid you're taught anything's possible right but as you get older, your environment starts telling you that things are not possible. Your environment starts telling you that you can't be the president, that you can't be the astronaut, that you can't be this person or X, Y, Z. Your environment starts telling you those things. So then you start conforming to your environment. And that's a scary and slippery slope. And as kids, you're taught anything's possible. But then as you get older, your parents and your friends start telling you, be realistic, be realistic. You can't do that. You can't start that. Oh, you can't drive that car. You can't live in that neighborhood. You can't have that house. So in this year, especially, I think a lot of people, and not even this year, fuck this year. I think every single day, right? You should go in and start auditing the people that are around you, auditing the people that you have in your life, auditing every single aspect of even your financial scenario, your friendships, your career to ensure that you're actually living the way you want to live. But anyways... That's it for today, guys. That's all I had. Um, hopefully you found some value in it. Thanks for watching. See you guys on the next one.